The Bachmann 2662T model is based on design proposal number 8043, submitted by the Baldwin Locomotive Works to the Biles Coleman Lumber Company of OMAC, Washington in January of 1929. However, before we get into the specifics of that proposal, let's take a brief look at the evolution of the Baldwin Logging Mallet, or as it was often called, Mallet. Early in the 20th century, logging railroads were faced with the same dilemma as many common carrier lines, how to move longer and heavier trains over greater distances. In logging, the initial response to this problem was to build bigger models of the geared locomotives that were so common to this industry. The primary drawback to these behemoths was their lack of speed. They were designed to move heavy loads over uneven and often temporary tracks in the woods. They were not built to move loads at speed, and as the logging camps and loading areas moved farther away from the sawmills, the geared locomotive's lack of speed became an obstacle to efficient operations. The need for speed, plus an intense competition among logging locomotive manufacturers for a greater share of a shrinking market, led Baldwin to tout the logging Malay as an alternative to the best geared locomotives on essentially what had become main lines from the woods to the mills. Baldwin was an early adapter of the compounding system for articulated steam locomotives invented by Swiss engineer Anatole Mallet in 1876 and used with great success in Europe. Mallet's system used two steam engines under the same boiler. The rear engine was rigidly attached to the boiler while the front engine was hinged to allow for lateral movement. With compounding, steam from the boiler entered the high pressure rear cylinders and the exhaust was used to power the bigger low pressure front cylinders. All but six of the 42 logging Malays built by Baldwin used this system. Baldwin built its first logging Malay in June of 1909. It was a 2442 design for the Little River Railroad and Lumber Company. It proved to be too heavy for the Little River's track and was soon sent back to Philadelphia in exchange for the smallest Baldwin logging Malay ever built, Little River number 148. In 1910, Baldwin built four logging Malays, including Booth Kelly Lumber Company No. 2. This 2662T was Baldwin's first tank Malay built for logging service. In the decade between 1910 and 1920, Baldwin did not build any logging Malays. However, from 1920 to 1929, they constructed 29 Malays. All but two were of the 2662 wheel arrangement as Baldwin began to standardize on many design features including 44-inch drivers, 17 by 26 by 24-inch piston valve cylinders, 200 to 225 PSI boiler pressure, and 1,000 to 1,500 gallon fuel oil tanks. However, although most of the water tanks held 2,000 to 2,500 gallons of water, they came in a wide variety of shapes, including split side tanks, rectangular side tanks, full saddle tanks, split saddle tanks, and the more traditional tender tanks. Owing to the Great Depression and the economic malaise that gripped the country, Baldwin built only seven logging malaise from 1930 to 1937, when the last one was built for the Weyerhaeuser Timber Company. In all, U.S. logging railroads ordered a total of 42 malaise. Most of them were of the 2662 wheel arrangement. However, three 2442s and two 2882s were also built. 27 of them were tank engines and all were standard gauge. All but six of the logging Malays were compound engines, and most saw service in the Pacific Northwest. They could easily handle the challenges presented by the rough terrain, tight curves and suspect trackage found on many logging railroads. Over time, Baldwin's logging Malay designs proved to be very successful. Many of these Malays operated continuously right into the 1950s and 1960s. Regrettably, few examples of these workhorse locomotives were spared the scrapper's torch. Fortunately, today, Weyerhaeuser No. 110 operates regularly on the Black Hill Central Railroad in Hill City, South Dakota. Baldwin proposed many logging Malay designs that were never built, including proposal number 8043 for the Biles Coleman Lumber Company. If she had been built, Biles Coleman No. 103 would have been Baldwin's first U.S. narrow-gauge logging Malay. Baldwin based their proposal on a meter-gauge locomotive built in 1921 for the Ferroqueril del Sur of Colombia, South America. She would weigh 70 tons in full working order, have 38-inch drivers, a rigid wheelbase of just seven feet, 
and boiler pressure of 200 pounds per square inch. According to Baldwin, in appearance, number 103 would have been a scaled-down version of Weyerhaeuser Mallet number 110. Unfortunately, the Great Depression intervened, and Biles Coleman never placed an order with Baldwin. However, now you have the prototype for this design with your 1 to 20.3 scale Bachmann 2662T model.